Having a microphone that plugs directly into your iPhone makes creating content so much easier. So I did the unthinkable, not really the unthinkable, but I went on Amazon and I bought five different iPhone mics that have the lightning port so you could plug right into the iPhone, all the way ranging from about like 20 bucks to over $150 to see if price even mattered and also to see which one sounded the best. Let's find out. You gotta just press record. Hey, what's up? It's Omar Tukoy with Think Media, and I wanna jump back into my office to actually do an indoor test. I am using the onboard mic on my iPhone 13 mini right now, and I'm actually gonna be plugging in the mic as I go through the sponsor of this video with the price on the screen. But let's start with thanking the sponsor of this video, Podcastle. If you've been thinking about starting a podcast, creating one in high quality has never been easier with Podcastle's A to Z podcast creation platform. Whether you wanna do a solo podcast or even with multiple people, Podcastle lets you record up to 10 remote guests at a time and with local multi-track recordings that you can capture high quality video and audio files so you could stop capturing your interviews on Zoom. Also, your guests don't need a Podcastle account. Just share the link to the studio and they're in. Podcastle also has a mobile app for recording and exporting your content on the go. Once you finish your podcast, you can enhance your audio to give it that studio quality finish with Podcastle's super intuitive audio editor. If you like the idea of clicking a button and making things happen, then you're gonna love Podcastle's AI powered features like Magic Dust, which removes background noise and auto equalizes your audio to give you that booming voice. Or you can automatically get rid of all the long awkward pauses in your track with the silence remover tool. And to automatically identify and remove all the ums and you knows from your audio, filler word detection will do just that. I think you should really consider starting a podcast this year. Podcastle will help you get it done swiftly and painlessly. And if you wanna try Podcastle yourself for free, check out the link down in the description below. Thank you, Podcastle, for sponsoring this video. So the first microphone is the U-Rig external microphone that comes in at $26. So right now you're hearing the onboard mic, let's plug it in, and now you're listening to the U-Rig mic. This is a $26 upgrade, and it's a directional mic, meaning it just points in one direction. It doesn't change unless you flip it around. And so if I flipped around the camera, you wouldn't get too good of a sound. But what's cool about this mic is it comes with a you know, wind screen as well as a dead cat, which will prevent from any wind noises. Now I would say the only flaw to this mic, as it is plug and play and super easy to use, is if you encounter very loud noises, it's actually just gonna clip the video. If you're gonna be in a loud environment, it might not be the best. However, I definitely think a pretty sweet upgrade for 26 bucks. The next mic is a non-name branded mic and it's wireless and usually it fluctuates on price and typically it's like 25 to 30 dollars but this is the onboard mic of the iphone and this is the wireless mic now plugged in and now because it's wireless i can literally walk around and you're gonna get consistent audio people walking their dogs and making tech youtubers look weird but this mic sounds really good for around 25 30 bucks i think everyone who owns an iphone should just have this mic in their kit because it's kind of fun to use and it usually does have a clip that can clip onto your shirt but this mic is cool because the only thing that you need to charge is the mic itself the other receiver that's just plugged into the phone doesn't need to be powered, but this mic just takes USB-C to charge and it'll last about four and a half hours on a full charge. But I think this mic is awesome and plugs straight into the iPhone. All right, this next mic is crazy, but it's the Moo mic. I think it's called Moo and it comes in at about $80, but this joint looks like a rocket ship, yo. Like, and what's cool about this mic is it has two mics that do rotate, but let's plug it in. This is how the mic sounds plugged into the iPhone and I got both mics pointing my mouth and maybe you're asking, why do you need two mics? Well, for the instance of flipping it around. So I'm gonna flip around the camera and the mics are still facing outwards. It's like this right now, right? But I'm gonna face one back toward me. And so now if I'm vlogging and I wanted to like talk about stuff, it's gonna pick up some good audio. And so for vlogging, it's pretty sweet. Another cool thing about this mic is it has a lot of settings. You can set it to hi-fi, voice, music, and I have it on voice right now. And then you can also change the decibel. They have zero, negative six, and negative 12. For 80 bucks, I think it's pretty sweet, especially if you think you're going to be flipping around your phone. Uh, maybe you're interviewing somebody or what have you. I could see a lot of use cases for the rotation part of this microphone, but all that to say, pretty sweet mic for 80 bucks, especially with those features. The next mic is the Zoom IQ7. This is about a hundred dollar mic and another funky mic as it's able to like rotate and do cool stuff. But let's see how it sounds compared to the onboard mic on my iPhone. So this is how the Zoom IQ7 sounds plugged right into my iPhone and I'm about 
12 inches away from the mic itself and I have it rotated in the way that they would direct you to do it if you were gonna use it in this manner. I have the gain knob set to seven so you can adjust that which is really nice. There is a three segment LED light meter that shows you if you're peaking which is really nice. There's a headphone jack that they say could work as an external line out so if you wanted to plug this into a camera. And what's also cool about this mic is it comes with a free handy recorder app that allows you to edit your files, add effects, and kind of go a little bit pro with your audio. I thought this mic was really cool. Like Zoom puts out great products. They also add in a uh, wind muff in it. But let's talk about the legendary mic of all time, the Shure MV88. So now I got this mic plugged into my iPhone and does it not sound like I'm on a podcast? But I'm literally just vlogging at my local park, being judged by so many families with their dogs. It's crazy. But anyway, mic sounds awesome. And this mic has uh, the ability to rotate, you know, either have it at 90 degrees so it faces you, or you can put it straight. So if you flip around your camera, it'll catch some good audio. It's just a good like mic to have in your kit. When I shoot stories on my Instagram, or when I, if you want to record a podcast on the go, it sounds like you're carrying like a full on mixer board. And you kind of get like a mixer board because it actually comes with uh, apps that you can get their Sure Motive audio app, but they also have a video app, which is super cool if you want to make any nuanced changes or settings or tweaks and record to those apps. So I'd love to know your thoughts about all these mics compared. If you want to level up your smartphone content, I would click or tap the screen. Got some dope videos that'll help you level up content with your smartphone. We out.